Hey, it's Steve at the Galveston School of Cooking, and today I'm in the mood for some fish. So I'm going out in my backyard, and I'm going to catch a whole heap and bunch of them. Look at them jumping out of the water. <laughs> Only a terrible fisherman would walk away with nothing today. Here I am placing the lure right in the water next to that sunshine reflection. What a beautiful cinematic shot. But wait. I don't know how to fish. Luckily, here in Galveston, we've got a whole bunch of fresh seafood markets. So I picked up a couple of red snapper fillets and we're gonna throw them in the skillet and blacken them. We need some pepper, we need some Cajun spice, we need some essential spice, and of course, we need some good old sea salt. All of my spices came from galvestonsalt.com, so check them out if you get a chance. And I'm sprinkling a little bit of each one. I start with the salt, then some pepper, then the essential spice, and then the Cajun spice. And I use about twice as much Cajun spice as anything else, because that's going to give me that good dark blackened effect when I put these in a skillet. Now just flip over those fillets, and we'll do the same thing on the other side. I've preheated my skillet to about medium high. Then I throw in some butter, add some olive oil so the butter doesn't burn so fast. Roll it around, coat the bottom of the skillet, and now we're ready for our fillets. After about two minutes, the edges of the snapper will turn white and you'll see some white beginning to form in the middle. Now it's time to flip. You can see the Cajun spice has blackened very nicely. The blackened spice will have a strong flavor, so when I flip these over, I only leave this side down for about half as much time. And you can see that the spice is not blackened as much on this side. Over the years, I've decided that this is the best way to do it because I think the fish looks better on the plate with the lighter side up, but you still get the dark, black, and strong flavor on the bottom. You can serve this with the mashed potatoes, green beans, asparagus, whatever your favorite side is, and a touch of lemon juice at the end. And look at that. Flaky, juicy, spicy. Oh, it's wonderful. And it's easy, so give it a try. Once again, all of my spices came from GalvestonSalt.com. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and I'll see you next time. <music>